but also SF against right, so, the yeah. Bloodseeker is good. They wanna. I think I got turned up. It sounds like I got turned up. I think Rob what was like, block. you're being quiet. Oh, you can't even reach the illusion <laughs> himself. What's going on there? <laughs> can't reach <laughs> over the wall to oh, grab him. He's got a baby with his life. Oh, oh this could uh, be had a he first gone down The right side. Bye bye, Yappy. No shrine, 30 seconds. Here we go, bottom. I'm gonna see the bash come through from MP. Might Fisher as well. Here he, he is. Fan. Here yeah. he is. He's gonna be backed up. Aaron D goes straight for MP. Charge for oh. the TP. He's not gonna make it. Blood right on the right, clicked enough to find it. Jonas Fan still playing around with Yapsor, making sure that the setup's there for Era to close in, and the two of them claim a second. And uh, yeah, yeah, Yas when it came, and it didn't come at a better time. Era with the Woo! perfect rotation and alliance, they find three kills. Hero because he maxed his passive, so he has a lot of damage. And uh, with that little buff he received, all right, we'll oh, that for later. Source the devil has now shown up to play. The, the silence does hit mid one, but he's gonna die anyway on arrow. Yeah, there's it oh. Get the connection. Take one. About half the value of those is on uh, Alliance, and in fact, Alliance. Uh, fan Yaps up, Yaps is gonna get fortunate there with the room pick up, and in fact, mid one's trying to react. Zip straight in, onto the bat rider. He will get the lasso off in time, but it doesn't matter. The only some fans still ends up going down. The question is if Alliance can get any kills in return. They'll look towards mid one, mid one, fully little on the mana. Does still have the soaring charge. Oh. Yaps up, drops the Woo. echo, dispatches of the Night Stalker. And he himself, can he actually run away from this one? Hansken chasing him down, tries to smoke it off. Isn't going to work. They'll lose Hansken. Secret mid one, but the, oh, the quill spray stack up. Lim gets one. They're throwing down the ult. It might not matter. Oh. Lim still alive. Finally goes down. Eren Hansken are there, but MP and Kezu ready to chase down the dough. I, I don't feel those items have uh, that much of an impact on, uh, yeah. on the Bloodseeker. I like the Aghanims, personally. I don't know about this game, but. Action bottom. Yeah, straight in on Terra, but he did get the blood right off in time, forcing the storm to hold back. Nice vacuum of wall onto three. They do immediately run out of it though, and now they're looking for the turnaround. Lim making a beeline straight for mid one, starting to fall low on the mana. There'll be a quick TP out that will keep Kezu alive. Alliance diving past the tier one, seeing if they can clean up a kill. Puppy and mid one both. Falling low, Puppy will be the first to be dropped. The Blood Bright Silent actually clips his onto Mibon. He goes for the TP, it's going to be successful. So at the end of it all, Puppy, the only one to fall down immediately. Yapso, though, has been found out on the sidelines. Jonas and fans spots him out with a Firefly, drags him back with a lasso, and Alliance get themselves a double kill for Limp, and a tier one as well there. That's true, they're all throwing Eris. way in the back. Eris gonna be going for a Yule Scepter, so this is actually a pretty cool build. Versus Storm. Must be a new little kill if they can get it. And they certainly do. Yeah, so quick with the Fisher. Make sure no TP out is going to be there. That will secure him that Blink Dagger gold. Seems like they're kind of privy to what's happening here. Yeah, Seeker's trying to go for a smoke wrap around. Yeah. Same thing, he has one on the back, and they have found Error. Straight in, grabbing him back with the Vortex. Error down to half. Pops down the blood right, but in comes the Chain Frost. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Vacuum onto oh. two, and that's going to do huge damage here. The bounces come through. Two to fall, and Secret, they're chasing down for more. Looking for hands get on the back of it. Limp's trying to work his way towards the back lines of Secret, MP, and Puppy being forced back. Limp, can he get a kill out of this, though? The Greaves come out from Kezu. Limp won't go down. Jonas and Van does find a grab onto Yapso, still gets out of the Fisher. Echo comes out as well. Yapso will finally fall, but he now allowed another kill to occur for Secret Mid One. Now up to 16 Bloodstone charges, and he's not quite done yet. Oh, Zips baby. forward onto Jonas and Fan. Jonas and Fan falling down oh, low, and Limp's the last alive, and they may just kill him as well as they continue to zip forward, chase him down. He is tanky, but they drag him back, yeah. get in front of him, punch him right down the lug hole, and they bring down oh. the bristle. Yeah, Look at that slow. You can't even man fight. This the Ogre Frost Mage. <laughs> They're jumping deep. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Straight in. <laughs> Just the three riding. of them. There's the lasso in return. Mip one. Could be in a little bit of trouble here. The sign. We'll get it. But Yapsil comes in with the echo. The Fisher onto three. It's the Chain Frost. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Alliance have lost two. Error will try and find Kezu. Does get the Darkseer. Now looking towards Yapsil. Limp, of course, still at full health. And Alliance will get the Mid trade. Mip coming back. If he goes for big late game items, that's the way they win this game rather than him going, having to go for a 3,000 gold item. Let's see what he can get here. You're oh. a fan. He's going to find Puppy. All right. Drags him back. Actually, they're very scared of this. They're, not, they're being careful about how they commit onto him. Now they'll go back in. Still sits there for error. Secret R kitted up, though, for this mid lane defense. And in fact, mid one, he's going to go in. Okay. And in fact, ripping error to piece it. That BKB well, did nothing. BKB before. Oh, Aegis. no. That did absolutely nothing there. Jonas and Fan will come in with the lasso, dragging them forward. Limp looks towards Kezu. The silence connects onto the darks here. Mid one forced to zip back, but MP, he's trying to oh commit. Oh no, Yapsor. Oh, he's messed it up. The echo did nothing. 
Couldn't get in with the jump. Blink was cancelled. And now Limp, he's heading back in. Does he still have the cheese? Yes, he does. Ooh. There it goes. Troll falls on the sideline as they get him with an impetus. And now Alliance, they're moving in. Limp, he's ready to dive. He's up to the high ground. Chain Frost is thrown down. He doesn't care. Mid one, very low on the mana. Will be able to zip back towards the shrine. But Alliance forcing Secret back. They may have lost the Aegis, but getting that kill onto what the Troll hero. Warlord. <laughs> Limp does not care about being Fisher blocked there into the base. And even though they lose that Aegis, I think you, you definitely have to say that's a successful one for Alliance. Just yeah. javelin down the Troll, trying to sidestep. Does mid one go for anything? He, he is. is. I mean, that that was risky. That, Ryan. He's going to be dragged away from it. Still has the mana to zip back up. Woo! It's going to look towards there, but the BKP popped and there's the rupture. Mid one has to be careful. Grease come out. He'll zip himself all the way back it's to like safety. Another dimension almost. What he will survive, he but it doesn't look like Kezu's going to be as lucky. Yule's up into the Blood Bright. Darkseer is down, and they're not quite done yet, Alliance. They're hunting down Puppy. Oh, Pablo with the Axe Jam. Vision but, for days. Let's see what he can do. Space created for my team, I hope. He's buying. Get some medallion. Hey, Alliance, another great trade for them there. Coming out on top. I think it's just a, it's a good item this game, though. It's not just for the Bristle. It's very good versus Bloodseeker, too. And Enchantress. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh just... they're going to jump straight in. Jeez. No messing with the Echo to make sure they get that chain stun, and they've got him. That's going to be him down for 70, Alliance. What could they get in return? They'll look towards Japsor. They will find him with the lasso. Can Worf they get anything more? Already dunked, nerd. And, uh, can they go on him? I guess they get the silver edge the cannon. There we go. Dragging him in. BKP All and they right. just commit. And that is a bristle back done uh, and dusted. Well, you follow people and then when they follow you back, you unfollow. That is what they do. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Mid one. In he goes. In he goes. Looking for a setup, but he gets silenced. Too far. They will hold him back with the yours. MP trying to commit. Slowed down there by Pablo, the Enchantress. Though. Pablo tries to fly him away. Up onto the high ground. He gets silenced up. The miss is coming oh. through. Can he survive? Oh, the Chambers! He's down. MP survives. Eats the cheese. Turns towards mid one. Low on the mana. He has got that Aegis still. Can they even pop in the once? The impetus falling him down. He's going to go. Jonas and Fan jumps in. Gets the lasso onto Puppy. He's not liked a lot. Is he going to like this? He's going to go for the TP. He's going to make it, but Yapsil comes in with the Echo onto two. The multi man Vortex following up as well as Alliance. They've lost three. They have not got that buyback, of course, anymore on the Bristol. Jonas and Fan trying to finish off Puppy, but Midbon's there to protect his captain. Zips in onto the bat. Jonas and Fan takes a Fisher to the face from Yapsil. As Alliance, they begin to crumble. The middle racks get and taken to pieces. That's it, boys. And, that's and it, it yeah. looks like it could indeed be all over. Onto the tier four. Secret finally breaking the base and in quite wow. some style as well. And there we have it. The game is done and dust in mid one. Ready to fountain dive. Does get first hit bash. There we go. He'll look for error. Get himself a sweet little bonus prize. 22 to 22 may be the score. But it all ended in a flash and a bang for Secret. 23k net worth lead. They last pick a Doom openings. And I love it when I see... Skyrath Mage get blown to hell. Ripper Reno Pablo. Skyrath Mage is actually pretty fast, like as a hero, but he has no health. Again, I mentioned that. Oh, Onskin also not in a good spot here. Come with me, boots first. Here we go, boys. Burrow Strike, dig. Oh, tier one tower? What tier one tower? Oh, sick chains, though. Onskin, cold feet. Oh, he's gonna jump over to Loda. Oh, that was not the play. Loda, free farming over in mid. They're going in for round two. Going for Era is hard, but he is going really deep. Yes, patience indeed. Patience confirmed. Era is doomed. Onskin does not have the ability to yank him out just yet, but he will be able to contribute quite a bit of extra juice here. Is it going to be enough to combat through the Doom and the right clicks deny? No. The Doom does get the kill with the Scorched Earth regen. Oh, Pablo. Don't go in there, bro. Oh, Hanskin. You don't go in there either. You gotta leave, man. They do seal up the Sand King, but that means Pablo is painting himself as the target now. His movement speed is gonna get him quite a bit distance away. In the meantime, Doom, he's stuck in the trees. He will see the Io now, but gets tossed up and dropped. Mickey's ultimate's gonna completely miss it. It goes right between them, still gets the Io kill. And come with me should be fine, although Limp is coming in with another hero on the way. Tossed up and the triple jump in with the chains will kill off the Twaf. Need it. Coming up towards the top, Limp has the travels on the Hawk. He is going to chain down the Sven, bail him up, and in the back line, he's going to toss in the Io. That still will end up killing off Loda, and now the Roar onto the Doom. 
Oh man, and the Doom will do a whole lot of nothing versus this Tiny. The tower's already down, so Insania's gonna get chased down for sure. Rip AA. Olymp. Careful, bro. Blink Doom. And he is gonna get Burrow Strike. Relocate coming in, but too late. He's already dead. They find their kill, but at what cost? They do toss up the Doom and crater him immediately. And the, to uh, the, the Roar, rather, plus the Flare will kill off two more. As Ira cleaves through all of them. Cripples them, then seals them and flares them by himself. May not get the kill, but it'll do a hell of a lot of damage. Press up, looking for more. It's Nikwa hit with the roar. Even the relocate. Come with me, he's gonna try to help him out with the burrow strike and the epicenter. It does all get off, but it's not doing nearly enough damage. Notice that is being focused down. So they didn't even have a roar, I don't think. Hans can focus down as well by the Queen of Pain. Flare will be mostly buffered by the Yule Scepter. Is loaded now, gets chased forward for Pablo. Tiny does not want to get in here. Pablo will seal up and then die. Limp will retreat. He should be fine. Oh, they're gonna all get bashed. Hira just picks up his AC. Hira doesn't even need, so... Hey, I got this, bro. 9,000 HP, bring it on. By the way, Craggy Exterior. Pretty good spell. Very easy to underrate, although here comes Wraparound. Come with me, finds Hanskin. Link forward, Furrow Strike, and the Roar will cancel the Epicenter, but still the Io's in a really rough spot. Flare is here, will do some pretty good damage. Avalanche, completely off the mark from Era, still looking for that Doom. He's sealed up, does turn around, gets his ultimate off onto the Tiny. The tiny can still fight if he really wants to. They do catch up to the Skyrath Mage and blow him to bits. Will be access to fly, trying to intimidate for the Tiny. He does not have his Io to help him right now, and he will as well die. Oh no, here comes the Ember Spirit, but I'm not really sure what he's gonna do. Oh, he gets a cheese kill on the Zanke. Okay, that's something. Don't know the extent to which he's alone. They do instead go for the Queen of Pain. His BKB, it is not gonna be in time. She's obliterated. Of course, you can get anything now to load. Of course, pop his own BKB to try to go for this tiny, but he's not doing enough damage. There's an AC on this guy. He needs a little bit of help to bring down Ira, and Ira's not even getting healed up by the Io. Here comes the Epicenter, will land pretty well, but again, it's mostly on the Skywrath Mage. Who really cares about that? Ira's back in, Avalanche toss, insta-kills too. Now he's trying to cleave down Insania by hitting the creep wave. At the same time, his allies take down the Sand King. It's a full wipe, prompting the buyout on the Sand King to maybe pick off this Aegis of Tiny. Even if he does, who cares? The Axis of Jonas and Von Ira still. Swinging at the building, still has two lives. And Cool Beans are running out of time. They get the roar off onto the Doom. Come With Me is here, but what can, what can a Sand King do? His epicenters have been okay, but definitely not good enough. And it, we have now found out who the real Alliance is. Alliance just all over Cool Beans. Just being in the right spot, split pushing, being ratty.